Respect. Now you genuine love. Respect page. This page is not for everybody, and that's okay. But no disrespect. Yo, save the drama for your mama. All that is not tolerated over here respectfully. But check this out, though. You know, dealing with trauma from a young age and dealing with depression and dealing with anxiety from a young age and it transpired into your adult life. You know, one of the two main things that a person was ever looking for when we dealt with situations like this is for somebody to genuinely respect us and for someone to genuinely say they love us and actually mean what they say and say what they mean instead of doing the betrayal, instead of lying to us, instead of manipulating us. They did it and you know what? It's time for us to stand up for ourselves in a healthy way. To allow our best self vision to show up. And you know what? I'm not allowing this trauma to affect my life moving forward anymore. No, I'm not. I'm not allowing it. No, I'm not tolerating it today, tomorrow, no more. No. It's unacceptable. It's unhealthy. I'm tired of being sick. Something that was instilled in you so young. I'm sorry that was instilled within you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had to experience that. And I genuinely mean that. Because no child should have to deal with abandonment issues. No child should have had not to deal with someone telling them or not acknowledging to them that they love them. Or somebody not acknowledging at the end of the day, I have to respect you. I have to, but they chose not to. I'm sorry for them disrespecting you. I'm sorry for them not showing you genuine love. And it impacted your life. It did. It allowed you to not to be, it allowed you not to show emotions when you were supposed to show emotions. Because if you don't show emotions at the end of the day, it only holds you back from allowing your best self vision to express yourself. In a healthy way, we all have to express ourselves. Because if holding in something inside for too, too long, it's going to allow us to explode in an unhealthy way. And nobody's deserving of that. Especially something endured within you at a young age. A young, innocent age. You were innocent. You was. And it's not normal. It's not. To continue to allow trauma to allow you to stop. To even try to show up for yourself before you even had a chance. Be patient with yourself. Be calm with yourself. Your life matters. Your life matters, respectfully. Your life matters. 365 days, your life matters. Just because you was overlooked, just because someone gave up on you at the end of the day, don't give up on yourself. You know those moments when you have to reevaluate yourself as that adult child? When you don't wanna feel those moments okay where that hurt? It hurt. That hurt. I didn't like that. It felt it, made, it felt uncomfortable. I didn't like that emotion. I didn't like that experience. They allowed me to feel unworthy of myself. They allowed me to feel like I can't speak up for myself because my voice didn't matter. They allowed me to feel like, you know what, they're the parent, they're the guardian, and I have to shut the fuck up. And I wasn't being rude or no shape or form, but I just wanted to let them know, like, yo, why don't you say you love me? Why don't you respect me? Why did you abandon me? Why did you feel like it was okay for a child to fend for themselves? And you're supposed to be the adult. Why did you allow me to feel unworthy of myself? Why did you allow me to feel like I can't show for myself? Why did you allow me to feel like I was looking for somebody that was not going to show up? You know, being the adult you are today, you are brave. You are so strong. You are so strong. 
you don't even know how inspiring you are right now. What you just overcame. You are so inspiring. Everybody walks a life is different. And that's okay. But it's okay to respect your neighbor walk of life. We don't have to agree what they went through. We don't. But we could respect our neighbor to let our neighbor know, you know what, you're not alone. Neighbor, you're not alone. Neighbor. You are powerful. Neighbor, I respect you today for you being yourself. And without you having malicious intentions to bring harm to someone, neighbor. Neighbor, you did a good job. Neighbor, congratulations. Neighbor, I genuinely mean what I said when I said what I said. I'm proud of you, neighbor. With no malicious intentions towards you, neighbor. Congratulations, neighbor, on your first home. Congratulations, neighbor, on your first car. Congratulations, neighbor, on your second business that you're on right now. Congratulations, neighbor. Congratulations, neighbor. Congratulations, neighbor, on that baby. Congratulations, neighbor, on that on that new on that new career. Congratulations, neighbor. Keep going, neighbor. Don't stop, neighbor. Keep going, neighbor. Neighbor. I understand that you went through trauma. Neighbor, I understand you dealt with abandonment issues, neighbor. Neighbor, I even understand that you don't know who your parents are, neighbor. But you are brave, neighbor. Neighbor, I understand that you lost someone that you love, neighbor. But you're not alone, neighbor. Neighbor, it's okay for you to be yourself, neighbor. Neighbor, it's okay for you to cry. Neighbor, don't hold that back. Don't hold yourself back from being your best self vision, neighbor. Don't do that, neighbor. Neighbor, because you can do it. Neighbor, don't get discouraged today. Neighbor, I'm allowing you to let you know, like, you know what, today, you can allow your best self vision to show up. Just because that person said that you're unworthy of yourself, that you cannot allow your best self vision to show up because you are nothing. You are nobody because of your background, neighbor. That's a lie, neighbor. Neighbor, they said that you're slow. Neighbor, they said that you're stupid. Neighbor, they said that you're retarded. Neighbor, you keep fighting for your life. Keep fighting for your life. Because you are worthy. They overlooked you. They didn't see potential in you. But you saw potential in yourself, neighbor. Don't fight, neighbor. Don't fight with the devil, neighbor. The enemy wants to see you fall, neighbor. It's okay, neighbor. You're overpowering them, neighbor. Because you're so strong, neighbor. You are so strong. You don't even know how strong you are, neighbor. You strong. Neighbor. You know. It don't matter how old you are, neighbor. You are grown. You are an adult. You understand the definition not to disrespect your neighbor. Because you are an adult. And there's no need for you to go back and forth. Neighbor. With the enemy. That's trying to psych you out of your thought process. That's trying to psych you out of your freedom. That's trying to psych you of your thought process when you loving yourself in a healthy way. All because they're miserable, neighbor. But neighbor, you got distracted within your process of your journey. Entertaining people that you shouldn't even have a conversation with, neighbor. But neighbor, guess what? I'm so proud of you, neighbor. I'm so proud of you. You know why, neighbor? You remember those home, the, that, that time when you was homeless, neighbor? And everybody closed the door in your face, neighbor? Remember that family picked up the phone and said, don't open your door for that person, neighbor? Because that person ain't no good, neighbor. All because they didn't want to see you progress in life and have a roof over your head to allow you to elevate and allow you to show for your best self vision in a healthy way. Because the only thing you was asking for was a roof over your head, neighbor. And your own family closed the door in your face, neighbor. You just wanted to elevate in life. You just needed somewhere to sleep, neighbor. So you'll be able to energize yourself and get up and go to work the next day, neighbor. So you can show up for yourself in the world, eh, neighbor. In a healthy way, neighbor. They didn't see that. They try to distract you, neighbor. Your own family. But neighbor, guess what? Remember that trauma that you endured as a child? Where they picked on you? Even your own family down to the stranger in the street, neighbor. And that progressed into your adulthood, neighbor. They bothered you, neighbor. They bothered you. They tried to psych you out of your thought process, neighbor. 
that you got discouraged too. You got discouraged. You got discouraged within your process, neighbor. But you know what, neighbor? You reevaluate yourself, neighbor. And said to yourself, I love myself. I respect myself. I can respect others around me. I can respect my neighbor. Regardless of what I've been through in my past, I endured trauma. I endured bad relationships. I endured abandonment issues. I endured uh, 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 abuse. I experienced being homeless. I experienced being discriminated against. I experienced it all. Betrayal. For people who I thought were supposed to have my back. And all they did was turn their back on me. And I was willing to accept. Was genuinely for me would be for me with no questions asked. Like people who genuinely respect me for me. People who genuinely love me for me. I didn't allow my trauma and what I experienced to rub off on the next person. I'm not allowing my trauma to rub off on the next person because I'm miserable with inside. During my days on this earth, I didn't allow another human being feel unworthy of themselves because I was trying to figure myself out. I endured trauma at a young age, but I didn't allow trauma to identify who I was today. I wanted help for myself. I wanted change for myself. I did not know how to do it, neighbor. I did not know how to do it, neighbor. I was getting discouraged, neighbor. From toxic people, neighbor. People telling me to go this way, neighbor. And it was not good for me, neighbor. People telling me to go a different direction, neighbor. And it was not for me, neighbor. You know, dealing with trauma, dealing with anxiety, dealing with depression will allow you to believe that at the end of the day, if I go with this group of people, they will be for me because I'm unaware of myself. And all they're doing is clowning me within my process of me trying to find myself. I'm just trying to find balance within myself to keep myself up. But all they keep trying to do is allow me to see I'm unworthy of myself. Joking. The jokes keep getting worse and worse and worse. The, dis the, dis the disrespect keeps getting worse. But ain't nobody talking about they process. How they gotta show up for they self. Ain't nobody disrespecting they process. How they gotta show up for they self. Wow, when the disrespect gets real. But guess what, neighbor? All you kept doing was praying and screaming and crying. Praying and screaming and crying. My day gonna come. When is change gonna come? I wanna have balance within myself to show up for myself in a healthy way. To handle this trauma, to handle this depression, to handle this anxiety, to, to deal with this homeless situation that I'm facing right now. Wow. I gotta be patient with myself. But within the time, within the process of me being patient with myself, I gotta be kind to others around me. Or if I ain't got nothing nice to say, I ain't gonna say it at all. It's just that simple. You know, with dealing with trauma, it would allow you not to show up as your best self vision of yourself. It will allow you to show up with excuses why you can't do something, why you are getting discouraged, why you can't allow your best self vision to show up. We already understood the assignment. The person you want forgiveness from, the person you're looking for apology from, they're not going to give it to you. It's okay. And even if they do say sorry, it's already too late. It's already too late. You know why it's too late? Because it's not genuine. It's not genuine. And you don't want nothing that's not genuinely for you. You want something that's genuinely, authentically for you. And it's going to respect you. With no misunderstandings. Coming out of your comfort zone is not easy. Facing your music is not easy. But having balance within your process of finding yourself at the end of the day, it takes a brave, strong king and queen to understand at the end of the day, you know what? I endured trauma at a young age. That was not in my control. But you know what? 
just because that process happened for me. If that can happen for me, what can turn out for the better for me? If I allow myself to see myself in a different point of view. If I acknowledge at the end of the day, I can see myself in a healthy point of view instead of being depressed or allowing these trains of thoughts to control me when I don't want it to control me. How do I show up for myself? How do I show up for myself? That's all you keep asking yourself. I could show up for myself without being medicated. I could show up for myself without a doctor telling me I need to be on medications to deal with what I need to deal with face to face. Hmm. Just because you endure trauma at a young age and it progresses into your adulthood, do not not mean you cannot not show up for yourself in a healthy way. Never allow someone to say give your thought process because they're miserable to allow you to feel unworthy of yourself. Unworthy of yourself. Once you face your music as to what just transpired within yourself, it could be 20 years ago. It could be 30 years ago. It could be 10 years ago. It could be a year ago. Trauma's trauma. And how you deal with trauma, it's how it's gonna affect your life. Some people don't want to live with that. Something especially that was endured within them that wasn't in their control. Who wants to deal with that? I know I don't. I don't know about you, but I don't. Are you fucking kidding me? No. I, I, I didn't cause that on my own. I didn't endure that in my, uh, on my own. And then... To reevaluate yourself and say, you know what, I didn't cause this on my own. But how do I fix this on my own? If I can't get the person to help me fix it that caused this on me, how the hell am I going to fix this problem that I didn't even fucking endure within myself? Respectfully. You know, dealing with abandonment issues will allow you to feel like nobody cares. Dealing with abandonment issues will allow you to feel like people would just come around for their own benefits. Because especially what you experience within your experience of life on this earth. And for you to reevaluate yourself in a healthy way, not everybody's like that. Because what's genuinely for you would be for you. With no questions asked. But dealing with what was endured within you that wasn't in your control, you can't blame that person who doesn't genuinely want to say, you know what, I'm sorry. But you know what, I am sorry. Regardless if you get a sorry or a, a not sorry, or if they're no longer on this earth anymore, you got to start your process within yourself to you say, you know what, I endured all of this toxic energy within me all these years. I gotta put myself first to know at the end of the day, I am worthy of myself. Regardless who overlooked me or who, who, who allowed me to feel unworthy of myself. I am worthy of myself. I don't care about nobody's thought process as to I'm, I'm worthy, I am worthy. Regardless if they feel like I'm not, I'm not deserving of, of or not, I am worthy of myself. I don't want trauma to affect my life moving forward another day. I'm tired of being sick. I'm tired of having headaches. I'm tired of having panic attacks. I'm tired of anxiety. I'm tired of depression. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of gaining weight. I'm tired of eating so much. Overly eating. Tastes good, but you know, <laughs> that's beside the point. <laughs> you see the excuses? It's always an excuse after an excuse after an excuse. When does the excuses become tired and played out? You know, that career job you want, you're only stopping yourself from doing that. 
You can, you can, you can allow yourself to show up for that job all day long, right? You can put your smiley face on all you want, but behind that smile is a mask that's genuinely not showing up. You're supposed to give your 100% when you're at that job, your career job. And imagine you're only giving 65%. That's a lot, right? But what happened to the remaining of the, the percentage to equal to that 100? It's still part of you still missing. And it's triggering you within your days because as your day's progressing, you don't have to think about something for something to trigger you. You could be sitting there minding your business, you could be sitting there driving, going for a walk, wherever you wherever you decide, you put a name on your book. It doesn't matter. And the experience just arrives. You're reliving it again. Because you haven't addressed it. You haven't addressed the trauma. So even if that person is alive, or even if that person is not alive, you still got to deal with your own music regardless if that person says, I'm sorry or not. You still got to deal with your own music respectfully. And you so strong and you so brave that you can overcome this as long as you continue to be patient with yourself. As long as you continue to be patient with yourself. And it's always important to, when you start your healing process, to have genuine positive people around you that actually have a, that has a care in the world. To let you know, like, today's going to be a better day for you. I hope you have a better day for you. I hope you have a better week in store for you. You know what? I'm going to come sit with you for an hour or two today. Is there something that you want to get off your mind? Or if not that, let's listen, to, let's listen to some uplifting music today. Let's inspire each other. Ain't nothing like being around people who's motivating each other. Respectfully. Instead of being around people who is jealous or envious over you at the end of the day. That energy hit different. It's not genuine. Ain't nothing genuine about it. But when dealing with trauma... And when you're one of those people who is tired of dealing with trauma, dealing with depression, you're tired, you're tired, you're tired, you're tired, the medication is played out. And especially when you're one of those people who's tired of picking up that drink or picking up a substance to control you because you don't know how to handle your emotions or you have control issues at the end of the day. And you don't know how to deal with your emotions. And you're tired of feeling like that. You know, instead of going to a doctor for pain prescription pill just to diagnose you and tell you to have a nice day, you could do yourself healing on your own. You could do yourself healing on your own. And I say that respectfully. I'm a firm believer of it. Especially if you have these tools that was installed within you. Patience. Patience. And I say this respectfully. You know, I'm eight years clean. I love myself. I was endured early age trauma at a young age. At a young age. And the consequences behind it, as as a child... No child should ever have to take consequences or take a responsibility as a doll. As an adult. Because of an adult's action at the end of the day. Because they trying to cover their ass up. Because they know they was wrong. So at the end of the day, I totally understand. I totally understand. Ain't nothing about me fake. Ain't nothing about this. I'm looking for money. Uh, I'm a clout chaser, nothing. What I do is authentically real. And I just want to help people to let them know at the end of the day, you can heal. If I can do it, you can do it. 
No disrespect. Like I said, this page is not for everybody. So the disrespect, save it for your mama, respectfully. And I've been in my healing process for over eight years now. And it wasn't easy. It was not easy. When I say it was not easy, it was not easy. When I first started my healing process, maybe for the first four years, I'ma be real, cause it was so deep, I didn't know it was that deep. It was so beyond deep, I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck they that did to me? Oh no, no, I don't wanna feel like this. It was bad, and I was dealing with it by myself. I didn't have genuine support to uplift me, to check for me, to see if I was okay, to authentically just be there. I didn't have that, you know? And for me to inspire myself, that's why I say, at the end of the day, if you be patient with yourself, you can see the growth when you first start your healing process to when you are, when you, when you, when you, when you continue to move forward within your process of your process at the end of the day. And it's just to say this, when I started my healing journey, when I say it was so uncomfortable, it was uncomfortable. It was so uncomfortable. People was being revealed to me who they really was. It was scary. It was dangerous. And I didn't have nobody to confide in during my times of what I was experiencing. Down to people trying to bring harm to my life, trying to take me out not allowing me to see another day type of energy. And I couldn't even pick up the phone and be authentic, be my authentic self and tell somebody like, yo, this is what's going on. And this is what's really happening. You know? So when I started my healing journey, when I say that shit was so uncomfortable, huh, it was so uncomfortable. I think I cried like a fucking baby for the first few years. I swear I did. I cried like a baby. I cried like the biggest fucking baby. As to why the fuck me? Why? Why, 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 why? Everybody, everybody, everybody's process is different. Respectfully, everybody's process is different. Everybody, it, it all depends on what you done endured. And especially if you never acknowledged it. And you just kept, like, bypassing it. Like, you felt the emotion and you ignored it. That's what I was doing. I was ignoring it. I was ignoring it for a very long time. I was ignoring it to the point where I allowed somebody's thought process of me to psych me out my own thought process. That's how real it was. And that's unhealthy. That's not, that's not cool. That's brainwashing somebody. And I say that respectfully. But when I say when I started my healing process, I think for the first few years, I cried like a fucking baby. Because it was it was it was emotions that I didn't even know that I can feel or things that were under the surface that I didn't even acknowledge. Like, what the fuck? I was hurting from that. Like, oh my God, I didn't even know that I was really hurting. Like, I was really hurting. Like, you don't realize how much hurt you're doing on yourself. And or what what you endured at a young age, and then it, it it just shifts into your adulthood, and then you got you got your childhood trauma on top of your experience, your life adulthood experiences, and then whatever experiences you don't experience throughout the time of the out of the years and your journeys and stuff like that, you don't know how mentally uncomfortable you really are until facing your own music. Like it was so uncomfortable, no lie. 